Welcome to Wonderland, a yacht with more personality than the Mad Hatter, more charm than the March Hare, and from the moment that I stepped through those sliding doors behind me, she put a smile on my face bigger than the Cheshire Cats. Come with me down the rabbit hole and you'll see why. The interiors of Wonderland are everything you may have hoped for and more. Designed by Claudette Bonville and executed in a recent refit, they are a thrilling blend of wonderful colors and sophisticated sobriety. The main deck lounge is light and bright, cheerful and somehow friendly, inviting you to sit and enjoy the views around you in an ambience that is so spacious it does in fact seem to defy the apparent size of the vessel from the outside. And in keeping with the topsy-turvy Wonderland world that Lewis Carroll created, here is something that really is quite upside down compared with other yachts. A main deck stateroom that is not the master, but rather a VIP stateroom, very beautifully appointed and tastefully designed, with plenty of wardrobe space and an ensuite bathroom. Before I show you the master stateroom though, let me take you back a few steps from the VIP where a short corridor has two doors leading off from it. One is a gorgeous day head, again deceptively spacious. And the other leads to the galley. I should mention that this can be accessed both from the main lounge and from the side corridor. But again, look at the size of it. The designer and the builder of this yacht clearly believed that galley space is important on a yacht of this size and proportioned the main deck accordingly. I have to say that I think they got it absolutely right. And when you look at the quality of the equipment in here too, and the amount of fridge and freezer space, then this is a yacht that you could certainly spend a lot of time on and enjoy dining at its best. A little longer wait to see that master stateroom though, since first I'll take you to the upper deck, where a cosy sky lounge affords the opportunity to relax in the company of a well-stocked bar and a group of friends watching ESPN on the 63-inch television. I should mention at this point that there's a well-hidden day head to the port side of the sky lounge, whilst the starboard side leads to a very well-equipped bridge, where 22-inch Hatterland screens were added in the refit. Now, let's descend below deck though. To starboard, we have a double stateroom. Again, spacious with beautiful individual interior decor and a similarly well-appointed ensuite. The port side guest stateroom with twin single beds is astonishingly big. I mean, really not just the cabin itself, but the wardrobe space, the vanity table, the ensuite. This is really quite some twin cabin. But behind this door lies a surprise that I think you will agree was well worth waiting for. A master stateroom that is bigger than any I have seen on a similarly sized yacht and just gorgeously designed and laid out. Quite apart from the stateroom itself with its sumptuous soft furnishings and immaculately finished cabinetry, his and hers bathrooms separated by this spacious shower and also by two proper doors that close to give total privacy when necessary. I don't want to milk those Alice in Wonderland references any more than I already have, apart from to say that there's something about the layout of this yacht that does get curiouser and curiouser. To have four staterooms in a 122 foot yacht really is quite unusual. And it made me reflect on why it is that many yachts will have more cabins. I mean, do you really need to cram as many cabins as you possibly can into the space available? Yachts anyway of this size will have 10 guests, or at the very most, 12. So why not have eight, but with accommodations that offer supreme comfort to your guests? And while we're on the subject of the way that the yacht's been built, I should mention that the builder is Delta Marine. Now, many industry experts consider Delta Marine to be America's answer to Fedship, a builder at the absolute pinnacle of high quality. And as we came out to film today in, I have to say, not the greatest of weather, I got the opportunity to look around and have to say that that robust build quality and the excellence of the craftsmanship is very evident.
This robust and business-like approach to yacht building can be seen on the bridge deck, where two 3,000-pound cranes are located, more than capable of lifting the 17-foot Nautica rib tender and two Yamaha wave runners that the yacht currently runs with. Actually, Wonderland currently runs with a colossal amount of water toys on board. Storage is something she's certainly not lacking in. The sun deck is largely occupied by a sizable jacuzzi tub and a seating area, but it really is important to note that a helm station is positioned up here too. It's not always the case with yachts of this size, and you have two handy wing stations for docking as well. Meanwhile, the aft deck provides an ideal setting for dining al fresco and chatting with friends with a chilled beer in your hand. Underway, Wonderland continues to impress. Those twin MTU 2000 series engines have proven trustworthy drivetrains, bringing the yacht through the Panama Canal and beyond at speeds of up to 16 and a half knots and comfortably cruising at 11 knots. Over her lifetime, a number of useful upgrades have been made. Quantum zero speed stabilizers have brought her comfort levels at anchor to the level that modern owners expect and an Atlas shore power converter gives her world cruising capabilities. Finally, an Alpha Laval centrifugal fuel polisher gives extra assurance when visiting new territories. And to complete this walkthrough of Wonderland, we should take a look at the crew quarters, set up for a capacity of seven crew and with a decently proportioned crew mess for them to relax in when the owner is on board. After all, happy crew, happy owner and this is a happy yacht i could kind of sense that when i first stepped on board it's almost as if the bulkheads carry the memories of fun and of laughter and also as a matter of fact i found an article in super yacht times in which the owner of this yacht was interviewed and he spoke about the fun and adventure that he had with the crew on board in various destinations i'll put a link to that article in the description below quite apart from that Wonderland really is a very well built and very well maintained yacht. In a yacht's life there are certain times which are particularly expensive and the best moment to buy a yacht is when one of those expensive periods has just been completed and paid for by the seller. One example of that is the W6 survey, a particularly costly service period that Wonderland has literally just completed. If you want to know what the W6 comprises of and why it's important for a potential buyer, and if you have a serious interest in maybe being the next owner of Wonderland and of course are a qualified client, then do reach out to us. Not to me, but to my colleagues Kevin Merrigan and Kristen Klein. We're putting their contact details on screen now. They represent the owner and they're in regular contact with the crew as well, so they can give you reliable, specific details to enable you to make a good decision the decision to enter a world of wonder on Wonderland. <laughs>